My home's only for the night Waking up in different places You wrap me up, let me inside Good morning, it's 858 and it's Nick's birthday! <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Oh. It's a very exciting day. We get to go walking. We get to go hiking, just what he wanted to do. <laughs> it's not raining. That's good. What's going on today? Well, we got one big hill to climb, a big up down. A big up down. And that's about all. We'll get as far as we can before uh, we, tomorrow we go to Stegen. Yeah. We're very excited about that. That's That's been a big motivating drive. <laughs> I think today we go through some like old growth forest. This forest in general has been pretty well, hard to know, but some there's been some huge trees. I'll try and show you more today. Should we do it? Yay! Pack zone? Let's go hiking. You're forever my oasis. My heart is home with you. My heart is home Big tree. with you. Breakfast time. I've got a raisin bran crunch with a protein powder as milk. And then there's some sunshine out, so we're drying out our stuff. And this is a real birthday tree for Nick. You're gonna have a dry sleeping bag and a dry tin. Until it rains tonight. Start off the night in a dry sleeping bag, that's most important. Yeah. As long as the skies are We got a view of Glacier Peak, finally. Couldn't see anything of it yesterday, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty epic. It looks pretty glaciery. Right now we're doing like eight miles of uphill, um, but it's our second to last big climb of the whole trip. We're almost at the top, pretty close now. Check out the gift Washington gave me. Uh, thank you, Washington, you're awesome. <laughs> More like it. Mm -hmm. You go, Washington, you're killing it. When all else fails, you're by my side. Lunchtime with a beautiful view. These are the cascades I've been looking forward to. Then tomorrow I can face it. When I stop running from my life. And all the pieces found their places My heart is home with you My heart is home with you Right, so I'm very relaxed right now because uh, Mari's cooking me a four-course dinner for my birthday on trail yeah. <laughs> So what's the courses or the surprise? Surprises Surprises? Yeah, surprises <laughs> Who's a lucky man? I am. <laughs> Appetizer pita chips with um, some urban cheese spread. Alright, so there's some hot chocolate for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you could just drink it like that, or you might want to, you could add in some one of these. What? Look at this. <gasps> That's a bag of booze. Whiskey hot chocolates. Oh yeah. Cheers. Hey. The second course is lasagna. Oh, yum. Ooh. Yum. Our last main course is a fettuccine alfredo with chicken. Ooh. So Mary crushed it. And we had three meals, but the, the last round is creme brulee, but it's getting dark, so we have to hit the road, unfortunately. That's a wrap for today. We're in the tent. 
we're going to some things in Washington that we really did a good one today. It's supposed to start raining tonight though and we're making up early, early, early so we can go to Stahican. Yeah. Good morning, it's day 159 and we woke up very early. Well, we woke up at 4.30, left by 5.45. It was like pouring rain this morning and it was dark when we left. Not fun. I'm feeling very tired today. Don't think I slept enough and my body feels kind of like it's breaking down like we've just gone too hard the past few days. So right now we're on our way to Stahican, which I'm excited about. I've heard so many good things. I've heard it's just like a cute little town on the lake. It's on Lake Chelan and the bakery. I've heard so many things about the bakery. Like every southbounder we've passed has mentioned the bakery. One couple said they spent $50 there and they regretted nothing and they still thought about it all the time. So <laughs> been looking forward to the bakery. Apparently they have good cinnamon rolls. I even had a dream the other night that I was at the bakery and I was like, oh no, what do I choose? <laughs> That was a weird dream. There's also in that dream I got a Google alert on my phone all of a sudden that said there are um, penguins roaming about 52 foot penguins. Yeah, it was a weird dream. Anyway, so looking forward to that. And then a really exciting thing is that for Nick's birthday I thought it would be a nice little gift to get us the night at the Stahegan Valley Ranch. Overall it'll be like a celebration of how far we've come because we're, we're close. Yesterday we passed the 100 mile mark, so we have less than 100 miles to go, which is outrageous. I'm really looking forward to that. It's so being done. <laughs> so, Hegan Valley Ranch. Um, my dad and stepmom stayed there once, and they really recommended it. They said it was so good. It's like all the meals are included, and we get to stay in a cabin, and I'm just really looking forward to that. So, that's why. We pushed to get here early. There's like four shuttles a day. We're trying to get the 915 shuttle so we can go into town. We have a resupply box at the post office so we can get that and get any other resupply stuff at the store. And then check-in is at noon at the ranch, so go back there and then we can just hang out all day and eat a lot of food and lay in a bed. And I can't wait. So exciting. <laughs> We made it to Tahikin. It's such a cute little place. It's beautiful. And we picked up our box from the post office. This like cute little post office. Oh, we went to the bakery. The shuttle stops at the bakery and we got so much. It's so exciting. to our room. We have a little ranch cabin here at Stahican Valley Ranch. We got in just in time for lunch, so we had a really filling lunch, which was good. And now I'm about to do some laundry, which is always exciting. And then the most exciting part of the day is gonna be uh, getting in that bed and taking a nap. <laughs> Never been more excited for a nap. But it's actually turned out to be a really nice day. It's like sunny and so it looks really nice outside. Um, we also checked the weather forecast and it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So um, that's fun. It's supposed to snow all through the weekend. Uh, temperatures, you know, in the 30s. <laughs> 
Uh, and then looks like the day that we expect to finish in Canada, it's gonna get nice again. So that's the status. When we first looked at the weather, it looked like it would snow today. And we thought, oh, perfect. Like we'll be in a little cabin, it'll be snowing, we'll avoid it. No, not so much. So, oh well, we'll do our best. And uh, still probably just gonna be inside all day here because that's what we do now when we come to town. But it is a beautiful day outside. It looks really nice. Good morning, it's day 160. And we just left Stahican, got back on trail. It's about 9.15 a.m. We had a really nice time at the Stahican Valley Ranch. So cozy and we ate a lot of food. It was really good. I feel very full of calories <laughs> for this next bit. And we've got a giant pack because I got a lot of food. We have some baked goods from the bakery. And uh, we got to pack out a lunch from the ranch. Yeah, I'm not going to go hungry the next few days. That's good. It's not raining yet. That's also really good. We have like 24 mile uphill climb <laughs> right now. I think we'll probably just go around 20 miles or so today. Almost done. We have like four or five more days depending how fast we go. So exciting. The final stretch. This is the last time we left a town, and uh, we're doing it. The fall colors are just looking outrageous. We might not always get views, but we got uh, some brightly colored trees. <laughs> Lunchtime, and we get to eat sandwiches that we packed out from the ranch. Yeah, we got cinnamon buns from the bakery. Mm. Well, so it was sunny earlier today, and we were like, wow, actually, maybe the weather's not gonna be so bad. And now it's snowing. <laughs> and it's starting to accumulate on the ground and on the plants. We just passed like a little sign that said severe weather warning, which we already knew, but seems real now. <laughs> so we're gonna camp up here pretty soon. PCT this year, man, we've just gotten a little bit of all kinds of weather. It's happening. <laughs> Snow. Oh, log crossing, no. We came to Rainy Pass, we're camping at the trailhead and next to a toilet, we had some dinner outside. It's about 30 degrees out. We're next to Highway 20, if you can hear the cars in the background. We're bundled up <laughs> to the max and I'm uh, hoping we'll stay warm tonight. But we got into camp real early because we didn't do too many miles, which is nice. We're gonna watch a little something on Nick's phone. Like a little Netflix show, and then get a good night's sleep. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> Time for hot coffee, I think. Good morning, it's day 161. We're in the tent, and it's snowing. It's like we're in, all of a sudden, we're in a winter wonderland. <laughs> it's really pretty, but uh, we have to walk in this. I was warm enough last night, a little bit chilly. 
sleeping bags that are real damp from all the condensation. So that's gonna suck for tonight. So we're gonna eat breakfast in here because don't wanna don't wanna eat out there. <laughs> I'm just really finishing this thing off with a bang. Alright, so there's been a turn of events. We were just all packed up ready to leave and a ranger came up and was saying he really doesn't recommend anyone to continue on further until the storm passes and it's Saturday morning. The storm's gonna be going till at least Sunday. Monday it's supposed to clear up. And he said like yesterday someone went and took like 30 hikers from Hearts Pass and took them all down to Mazama. There's like a trail angel's house there. Yeah, they're really not recommending hikers to be out right now. And we know there are people out there that were ahead of us. And so we had a big talk about it. And he said, where we are now, this is like the best it's gonna be. We're going only up higher. We're gonna be going over a couple passes and there could be up to 45 mile per hour winds and up to 18 inches of snow up at the top. It's already really accumulating. It's really beautiful down here. <laughs> um, anyway, so we were like, we could go. Like, we do think we have enough gear and warm clothes. But since he warned us and he said he's in this part of the trail like 50 times, if it was him, he knows for sure he would not do it now. And we don't have like a strict time frame. We're really just hoping to finish. We're only like three days away. <laughs> so it seems crazy, but. I don't know. I guess in the end it just doesn't seem like we should risk it for like what? I don't know, just to finish a couple days earlier. Um, so we're gonna try and get a hitch into town. He also said, look, if you're gonna go to town, you should go now because there won't be very many cars driving through later. And luckily, yeah, we're like camped right at the road, so... I guess we're gonna try and maybe go to Winthrop. There's like two towns close to each other, Mazama and Winthrop. I think Winthrop has a little bit more options. So that's what we're gonna try to do. And there's a hostel there, so I guess we're just gonna go hang out in town for another two days. Totally unexpected, um, but I would just hate for something bad to happen out there, knowing that we knew better. <laughs> Yeah, so PCT continuing to throw us curveballs. This was so unexpected. The ranger said this kind of storm doesn't ever happen usually until like kind of late October. And they said it's like a historic early storm. But it looks really beautiful out. It's a complete winter wonderland. <laughs> All right, that's the update. I'm gonna try and go to town now and uh, hang out for a couple days. <laughs> eat pizza. That's what he said we should do, so we'll try it. <laughs> we made it to Winthrop. We got a ride with uh, another PCT hiker whose um, parents were going to meet him, so timing all worked out very perfectly. Thanks, uh, Sugar Rush and parents. <laughs> um, now, we checked into the hostel. I'm gonna check out the little town. It's like a little cowboy themed town. <laughs> Happy birthday! 